three on your side. WLBT News at 10 starts now. Developing tonight, the family of a man whose body was found a month after his disappearance is calling on the Department of Justice to investigate. Rasheem Carter was last seen in October. More than a month later, some remains believed to be his were found in Taylorsville. Our Quentin Smith joins us now with new information revealed in today's press conference. Quentin. That's right, Maggie. So right now, the cause of Carter's death remains under, under determined and under investigation. That's according to the Smith County Sheriff's Department. But if you ask family members, they believe the 25 year old was targeted and killed. Tonight, they're searching for answers and justice in his death. And we do want to warn you, some of these images you may find disturbing. Justice for Rasheem Carter. From the chanting, Justice for Rasheem Carter. To these signs, Justice for Rasheem Carter. It's clear that family members and friends want someone to be held accountable for the death of 25 year old Rasheem Carter. This was not a natural death. This represents a young man who was killed. Well-known civil rights attorney Ben Crump gives the gruesome details on how the Jefferson County man was found. His head was severed from his body. His vertebrae, his spinal cord, was in another spot they discovered away from his severed head. They have recently found remains that they believe are also Racine Carter. Carter was last seen outside a Super 8 hotel at the beginning of October in Laurel, which is half an hour from where he had been contracted to work in Taylorsville at Georgia Pacific. Remains believed to be his were found on November 2nd. Those close to Carter say he was being threatened by people he knew. He was dutifully and gainfully employed, just trying to make a living for his young, young child and ends up dead, chased by what we believe to be a white supremacists, mob. a lynch mob. In fact, Carter's mother, Tiffany Carter, says he even let her know about it during one of his last text messages to her right before he went missing. He said, me and the owner of this company not seeing eye to eye, mama. His name, I, which I can't say at this time, but if anything happened to me, he's responsible for it. I'm too smart, mama. He got these guys wanting to kill me. But they say what's even more alarming is the fact that someone attempted to use Carter's credit card even after it was determined that he was dead. And we believe that is a big clue. Think about it. The person who had his credit card is likely to have encountered him while he was alive. And it shouldn't have to be this difficult for this broken-hearted mother to get answers. The Smith County Sheriff's Department is leading the investigation on this death case. The sheriff says the department has sent out search warrants. They are still waiting for those to be returned. And when asked if he thinks foul play is involved, the sheriff says that remains undetermined and under investigation at this time. If you have any information on this open investigation, you're asked to contact the Smith County Sheriff's Department. Quentin Smith, three on your side. Shh. <laughs>